I don't believe this. Came in off the tree and just look at this. Well, that is unbelievable. I, don't, I haven't seen that in such a long time. They're on 12 for par. Louis Sazen, king of the swingers. Louis. JB Holmes is as bull as there. Is it going to get round it somehow or other? Oh, it's... No! No! Go on! Go on! Oh, that's oh, unbelievable! Goodness! <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that? Ever in my life! We almost both went in. <laughs> JB, JB has to replace his ball where it came from, but Lewis counts. It's a one. Well, this was Fuzzy Zeller just a moment ago, 173 yards, 16th hole. I wasn't making a whole lot happen on this day at even par. Well, it doesn't look real good either. Back left, it's hung up in the rough. That's mm. you know, no good there, is it? Tough chip, I think. Yeah, it's no good. Oh wait a minute, there it goes. You're not gonna believe. It. You're not gonna believe. It. Some chance. No, no, you got to. Oh, please! <laughs> Immediately went to the tee at 18. Jamie Lovemark from the fairway. This, one of the luckiest bounces you will ever see. He finds the water. Everyone thinks he is out of the playoff, but take a closer look. It hops out and on to the edge. Unbelievable. From there, Lovemark would save his par, and all three would make pars and head to the 17th. Look today at Robert Rock on the par 5 sixth. Oh, he's smiling. Oh. Slightly embarrassed smile. Popped that one right over the old ruined viaduct onto the seventh. Well, isn't I mean, what an amazing bounce that was. I mean, oh, that could have back, gone yeah. anywhere. The best shot from the third round of the 2010 Arnold Palmer Invitational. This is Chris Couch in the fairway at 18. 161 to the pin. Eight iron. Take a look at what happens. It hits the rocks once, twice, three times, and finally finds its way to the green. And from there, two putts for par. He's at seven under. Been one for five. Watch your back, Greg. And this is at the drivable par four 16. It's pretty dangerous when it got the creek kind of right there. You have there. to be kidding me. Oh, it went. Oh, oh off. No, the, it <laughs> didn't. Off the bridge. Is it going to go in? What? Oh my gosh. For a tap hit eagle. <laughs> off the bridge. <laughs> well, you take that. Go to the second shot of Michelle Wee who's going for it on this part five. Now the front bunker is not a bad spot at all. Go. Oh. Oh. I didn't see it land. Was that off the rocks? Yeah, and then it ended up on dry land on the other side of the water. Take a look at this one more time. Yeah, well, it's five o'clock somewhere. Why not have it on the rocks? Yikes. Yikes. She not only hit that ball really poorly, she hit it really poorly. Andrew McGee is walking down the 17th. It's the par four drivable. McGee has holed his tee shot. 
He held it by hitting his drive onto the green. Tom Byron was squatting down over his putt. He was lining up his putt. Andrew's ball hit Byron's putter. See the ball of Andrew McGee. We won't quite catch Tom Byron, who's squatting down, has his putter on the ground. The ball hits the putter. Steve Pate watches. The ball goes in the hole. Byron is an outside agency. The ball goes in the hole. It's a hole in one. Most of the, one of the most outrageous hole in ones you've ever seen. It doesn't get any weirder than that. That is weird. Our second luckiest bounce of all time came at the inaugural Memorial Tournament. In a playoff with Hale Irwin, Roger Maltby sent his approach on the third hole of sudden death left. But it hit off a half inch wide metal stake and ricocheted back onto the green. The very next hole, Maltby would sink a 20 foot birdie putt for his third tour title. Down the left, he's trying to cut it back, but it's headed at the bunker. Maybe water. It skirts by the church pew bunkers and goes out into the fairway. Oh, wow! That's a long hit right there. Let's show you the end of that when it could have been in one of those Oakmont church pew bunkers, but it's going right. Splashes there, and wow! I don't know how that happened. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I think after the last one, he deserved a break. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at that point, he thinks he's in there. I'm not sure how that ball did that. Now, Pablo Martin made the most of his surroundings. He's hooked it. A hard bounce, it could be in trouble. Can you believe this? I wouldn't have thought that was possible, but I think it has now come to rest on the bridge. Pablo went on to win and retain his Alfred Dunhill crown by a single shot. He just tried to go. take a little off of it, going up against the breeze. Hit the rocks. Hit the rocks. You've got just to be kidding me! To be kidding me. That is incredible. Wow. <laughs> uh, a little March Madness here at Bay Hill from Snedeker, who absolutely got away with that one. And he knows it. Ian Wisdom now counts his blessings off the tee in 1996. A double slice of luck for the Welshman. You should also thank the ground staff for those few extra blades of grass. Down the hill into the par 5 18th green. Oh, settle. I don't believe it. Unbelievable. <laughs> A few moments ago, one of the three good drives at uh, 17. Second of sin. Oh. He hasn't. Surely he hasn't. He only has. Fred Funk did it a few years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 